All right, guys, I got an exciting piece of information. I officially got my header flange from Stainless Headers. It is mild steel. Um, I'm not really set up to weld stainless, and I'm not really set up to back purge either. So I'm going with mild steel, and 2-inch is what I went with for the tubes. And then in the middle, before it goes into a collector, it is going to be 2.5-inch. Everything before the turbo is two and a half inch as it is now. And I'm pretty excited. I'm actually gonna be kind of shooting for what Stainless Headers has this on their website. Their header, they have a turbo header for the 300, but it's about $1,000 or $1,100, I believe. So I'm gonna be making my own. And I'm pretty excited for it. And I hope you guys are too. It's going to be a, I'd say a log style header. So what I'm doing for my um, collector section, I took this two and a half inch U-pipe that I had and I cut it in half. Then I stood them up vertical in the horizontal bandsaw and I chopped half of the tube off. This gives me my collector. Pretty good fit up. And that is gonna go about right here. I'm gonna utilize the same, again, I'm gonna utilize the same J-pipe that I had. So I need to locate where that J-pipe, or where that pipe comes up here, and that's where this is gonna be located. The first 90 is gonna go on here, and it's gonna tip back a hair, just to help with flow a little bit. And then I took this one, somewhere in between a 45 and a 90. That one's gonna go here, and I'm just going to tack it on so that it's straight up and down. Again, this is 2 inch. In this box over here, I have Walker 2 inch to 2.5 reducers. That's going to go somewhere in here. We're going to go from 2 to 2.5. Two and, and then all of my other... Header pipes. We'll go right into it at some sort of an angle. It's gonna be a long process. It's definitely gonna be a one-part episode. Um, definitely gonna be a learning experience. Never done anything this complicated. Never. I mean, I never even come close to this. All right, everyone, it's been so long since I've worked on this and made a video that I don't even remember what I talked about in the last one. But today's progress are these two primaries. And it's a pretty slow process fitting them up if you're an amateur like me and don't even get a good fitment. But so far, I think they're coming out pretty good. I know it's hard to tell in the video, but they do have some angle that way to help with flow a little bit. Um, And then this one will be straight down, and this one will be ang angled slightly towards the towards the front there. But I think it's coming out pretty good so far. All right, you guys, I got one runner left to go, and it's gonna be the most difficult one of the bunch because I'm gonna have to angle it this way, just a hair because otherwise it's going to come straight down into that weld. So it'd be easier just to point it that way, just a hair. I already have a start of it. Um, I think it's going to end up looking something like that. Nothing too crazy. Um, so far I'm happy with it. I think it's going to look pretty slick when it's all welded up. One thing I have to do is um, cutting holes in here. And I'm waiting to do that because this angle is slightly wrong. So I need to cut these tack welds on both ends and then rotate this bottom piece just a hair 
because I want this V-band as close as possible to my J-pipe. It's getting a little bit closer every day. Well, every day that I work on it. And uh, I think it's going to come out pretty good. So this is what it looks like with the intake manifold on. I'm going to have to um, clearance this here a little bit. I already did this side. I'm going to give it a little more breathing room there just to get the heat away a little more. Other than that, everything is, I mean, got tons of clearance. If you look in here. The reason I went to the Clifford and getting rid of my Offenhauser is because the Offenhauser didn't have near enough room for a number four primary. And if you look on this Clifford, it's got um, more than enough. So I think I'll be able to make it work. I think it's going to work out pretty good. And I think it's going to help a lot. Gain me some horsepower. Should flow better than the HD manifold. And not only that, but it should keep a lot of heat out of the intake manifold, which should unlock some horsepower for me as well. But that's today's update. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, this has been Wasted Paycheck Garage.